It's time once again for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Good evening. It's Uncle Matt. And I'm here to read you another bedtime story. Today being Friday the 13th. Tonight's bedtime story is called Night Shadows. Night Shadows by Barbara DaCosta, illustrated by Ed Young. And as you know, it'll be pretty difficult reading in the dark. We're going to turn some light on. That's a little better. Friday the 13th. A little scary normally. Night shadows. Are you ready? Here we go. This is also episode 800. 800 bedtime stories. Uncle Matt's bedtime stories here on YouTube. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. Night shadows fell on Mrs. Lucy's garage wall. Come on, a voice whispered. Give me the spray paint here. Pfft, bold swirling letters appeared. Suddenly, a door banged open Who's out there? Mrs. Lucy's sharp voice cut through the night air. Run! Footsteps pounded down the alley. The next morning, as the sun shone on the waking up alley, Mrs. Lucy studied the damage to her garage wall. Good morning, called out Mr. Jackson, putting his trash in the bin. Too bad you've got graffiti again. It's those boys, Mrs. Lucy grumbled, fetching her painting supplies. Nearby, the neighborhood boys gathered. Come on, guys, let's play ball. They began choosing sides. Go on, get out of here, Mrs. Lucy scolded them. Go play somewhere else. She climbed up on her step stool and started covering the graffiti her paint roller going squish, squeak, squish, squeak. The boy sauntered off and set up a bit further down the alley. Young Tasha came trailing after them, wanting to play. Go on, Tasha, get out of the way, the boys yelled. Tasha frowned. They never let me play. She glumly kicked at the pebbles as she wandered back up the alley. When she got to Mrs. Lucy's garage, she stopped and watched. What are you doing? she asked. Cleaning up this mess, said Mrs. Lucy. Can I help? Mrs. Lucy glanced down at Tasha. I suppose so. You could get those patches down there where I can't reach. Tasha took the roller, squatting. She painted up and down and sideways squish, squeak, squish, squeak. When they were done, Tasha followed Mrs. Lucy inside to clean up and to have some milk and cookies. That night, though it happened again, figures crept through the dark. Go on, I dare you, snickered one voice. Tss, broad, circling 
words formed. Suddenly a window opened. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Mrs. Lucy's angry words echoed down the dark alley. Run, the shadowy figures fled into the night. The next morning, Mrs. Lucy stood looking at the marred wall, shaking her head. She sighed and got out her painting supplies again. Soon, Tasha showed up. See what those boys did, Mrs. Lucy said, pointing at the marks. Can I help, asked Tasha. Without a word, Mrs. Lucy handed her the paint roller. Tasha reached and rolled, squish, squeak, squish, squeak, when they were done. They went in to clean up and have a snack. That night, Mrs. Lucy said to herself, I'm not going to stand for this any longer. She hid behind the lilac bushes by the garage and waited. Soon came the soft, careful tread of tennis shoes sneaking down the dark alley, a solitary figure this time, face hidden by a sweatshirt hood. The vandal took out a can of paint. Psst, psst. Stumbling strokes began to take shape when suddenly, I'll get you. Mrs. Lucy jumped out and grabbed the hooded figure I'm going to call the police. Stop, Mrs. Lucy. Stop, Tasha. Mrs. Lucy pulled down Tasha's hood to look her in the face. Tasha, what's going on? How could you? I, I just wanted to come over again, Tasha cried softly. Mrs. Lucy didn't know what to say. She stood there for a moment, then reached out her hand. Come on, Tasha, she said. Time to get you home. We've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Together, asked Tasha. Together, said Mrs. Lucy. Some poems here. One never knows if there's a tomorrow. Today is real. Take care of yourself and extend that care to those around you, Ed Young. To Mary Lucy and all those wonderful people who take time to extend a helping hand, Barbara DaCosta. This one from Anna E. Hamilton, 1843 to 1875. This learned I from the shadow of a tree that to and fro did sway upon a wall. Our shadow selves, our influence may fall where we can never be. The end. That's not how I thought that story would go. That was a little mysterious. That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story, our 800th episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>